The main advantage of the new Vitec DensaCheck is that when configured, it can automatically transfer the McFarlane value from the DensaCheck pod to the Vitec FlexPrep software. Note that in order to take advantage of this integration, Vitec 2 system software must be at version 9.01 or higher. First confirm that the Vitec 2 system software is configured to accept McFarlane values. Double-click the Vitec 2 systems icon on the desktop of the PC. Log in as a supervisor or administrator. From the home screen, click the Configuration View icon and select General Configuration from the drop-down menu. In General Configuration View, click the Lock Unlock icon at the top of the screen. Acknowledge the warning pop-up by selecting Yes. Click the Settings tab. Under the Miscellaneous section, select the Enable McFarlane checkbox. Click Save, and then click the Lock Unlock icon. Close out of the Vitec 2 Systems application. Open Vitec FlexPrep by clicking the FlexPrep icon on the computer desktop. Log in as a supervisor or administrator. By default, the sample preparation screen will display. Enter full screen mode. Click on the configuration button at the top of the screen. In Configuration View, click Yes for Display McFarland. Select Yes for Use Vitec DensaCheck. And if desired, select Yes for Display Vitec DensaCheck. Click the Save button. Next, for remote PCs only, confirm the download and installation of the DensaCheck Communication Bridge. Note, ensure you are logged into Windows as an administrator. A warning will appear on the screen. Follow step 1 by clicking the Communication Service Installer link here. The opening Install DCE Bridge window appears. Click Save File. When the File Explorer appears, ensure that Downloads folder is selected and then click Save. The file will download into the Downloads folder. Navigate to the Downloads folder. Locate the Install DCE Bridge file and double-click it to execute the file installation. If the User Account Control warning appears, click Yes. Select your corresponding language from the drop-down and click OK. The DensaCheck Bridge 1.0 install wizard launches. When the Congratulations DensaCheck Bridge has been successfully installed message appears, keep the default setting that has Yes, Restart My System pre-selected and click Done. If the computer does not restart automatically, restart the computer from the desktop to complete the install. Now that the DensaCheck Communication Bridge has been installed, the DensaCheck certificates must be configured in Vitec FlexPrep. This must be done on all PCs, including the Vitec 2 PC. Open Vitec FlexPrep by double-clicking the FlexPrep icon on the computer desktop. Log in as a supervisor or an administrator. By default, the sample preparation screen will display. A warning pop-up will display. After reading the instructions, follow Step 2 by clicking Click Here. A tab appears stating your connection is not secure, indicating the certificates have not been accepted yet. 
click Advanced to review information about security certificates. Click Add Exception. The Add Security Exception window appears. Ensure Permanently Store This Exception is enabled and click Confirm Security Exception. A mostly blank screen that displays the IP address, local host, port number 8900 is normal and means that the certificates have been successfully accepted. Click on the FlexPrep tab to return the FlexPrep screen. In the Download DensaCheck Communication Service window, click OK. On the Configuration page, select Yes for Display Vitec DensaCheck to display the McFarlane meter in the software if desired. Click the Save button. Click OK. Close and reopen FlexPrep to refresh the settings. Once the DensaCheck has been connected to the Vitec 2 PC, the communication bridge has been installed, and the DensaCheck certificates configured in FlexPrep, the Vitec DensaCheck is ready to use with FlexPrep integration. To create a FlexPrep cassette, enter a cassette ID using a number 1 through 9 for the Vitec 2 Compact, or up to a four-digit label for the Vitec 260 or XL and press Enter. Gently press the card type button on the McFarland screen of the Vitec DensaCheck base until the desired card type appears, or click the card type displayed on the DensaCheck window in Vitec FlexPrep, or scan the card type that is being used into the Vitec FlexPrep application. Scanning the card We'll lock the card type and range on the Vitec DensaCheck display base. Combine saline and microorganism in the test tube and mix the suspension until a homogeneous solution is obtained. When ready, insert the sample tube into the front slot of the DensaCheck pod. When dots appear on the display base screen, Rotate the tube slowly until the McFarlane value is displayed on the display base. If necessary, adjust the suspension and repeat the measuring process until the McFarlane meter gauge is green and the value is within the appropriate range. Press the button on the back of the pod to accept the McFarlane value and send it to the Vitec FlexPrep. Caution. A McFarlane value out of range will display in red, too high, or yellow, too low, on the McFarlane gauge in Vitec FlexPrep and does not prevent the test from being performed.